Hello and welcome to Live Music Tutor. If you are a new instructor, this video will demonstrate how to create a profile, how to sign into the website, how to interact with your profile, how to create new lessons, and how to go to those lessons. So let's begin. Please go down to the new instructors link on the bottom right. Then, type in your first name, type in your last name, Please input your email, confirm your email, choose a password for the website, re-enter your password, then select your state, your time zone, your date of birth, Choose your gender, and then select the instruments that you plan on teaching. Now click Submit. As you can see, the website has now sent us an email that we must respond to to have an active profile with Live Music Tutor. Please go to your email account. If it's already open, you may have to hit Refresh. As you can see, we have an email from info at livemusictutor.com. Opening the email, we see an embedded link. Please click on the link. Now that you have created your profile with Live Music Tutor, we can proceed to log into the website. Please go up to Email ID and type in your email. Then, type in your password and click Login. Here we have an instructor profile which has already been filled out for demonstration purposes. If you'd like to add a new profile photo or change the existing one, please go to Change Picture. Then click Browse, select a photo from your hard drive, and click Save to make that your profile photo. Going to the profile link will show you your personal information which can be edited. You can input your education and work, your activities and interests, your basic information, as well as your contact information. The Friends and Tutors link will show you a list of your friends and tutors and is also where you can go to find new ones. My Album will allow you to upload photos and videos to the website that can be viewed at any time. My Groups will allow you to create groups to distinguish between friends. Messages sent to one group will not be viewable by the other. My Events will show you events that you have been invited to and is where you can go to create new ones. Emails is an internal messaging system between users of Live Music Tutor. Notifications will notify you of pending friends requests and also if anybody has interacted with your profile. Account settings will allow you to change your email, your password, as well as your privacy settings. Going back to the home, we will now show you how to use the Friends and Tutors tabs. Clicking on the Friends tab will show you all of your friends' profiles. Clicking on one will take you to that person's page. You can interact with them by typing into the feed and clicking Share, or you can see their profile information their friends lists, send them mail, see their photos, what events they're participating in, and what groups they belong to. Clicking on the Tutors tab, we will now go to an instructor's profile. As you can see, it's similar to the previous ones we've seen, however, now we have scheduled courses. Scheduled courses will show any classes that have been put up by this instructor. Taking you back to the home page, we will now show you the left-hand column. My Courses will show you any courses that you have put up. Schedule Class or Lesson is where you will go to schedule classes. Let's go ahead and create one. We'll call this one Saxophone for Beginners. Now, let's select an instrument. And for course type, we will choose Lessons. Lessons are one-on-one. -on -one. Classes, master classes, and lectures are for groups. 
the course start date will be the 31st and the time will be 9 a.m. We'll make this class one hour long and now we'll click Submit. Upon confirming, you'll see that the course is now here on the top in the My Courses page. Go to Classroom is where you will go to teach live classes. We'll go there in just a moment. Enrollment History will show you a list of all the people that have signed up to your classes, how much they're paying, and on what date they signed up. Enrollment Summary will show you a monetary amount that is the sum total on each day of the people that have signed up. Below that, we have the interactive calendar. Any dates that you've created a class will be highlighted in yellow, and clicking on any one of these dates will take you to a more detailed view of the calendar. Now, we will go to the classroom. Click Enter Live Class and you will be brought to the waiting room. When you are in the waiting room, you can listen to music, you can watch videos, you can talk with people in the chat room, and generally interact as you're waiting for the class to begin. Once the countdown hits zero, you will see a button that says enter, and upon clicking that, you will enter your class and begin giving your lesson.